I was talking with uh, Ms. Dube here about the rich bouquet that Nigeria has to offer in terms of culture, in terms of tradition, in terms of exhibition, the visual arts, the written arts. is a, is a, is a very rich bouquet that we have and we're always very excited when people come from outside our shores to come and appreciate what we have. I'm also very excited this morning because I'm talking with an old friend, not seen him for like maybe like three to four or five years. We know him, he's Tarzan Air. Eh? He took us on so many free cruises way, way back. The entire AM Express crew, he take us for hours on end, give us food, snacks. We go to the beach and relax. Eh? We miss you. I miss you too. Uh, thank, thank you for you coming on After Dawn this morning. You're welcome. Has it been? Have you been keeping? Yeah, I'm all right. How is Tazan doing? Tazan is doing fine. Thanks Fantastic. I know you made us um, realize, take it very seriously, that once you're out on the water, you must be wearing your life jackets. Whether you're a good swimmer or whether it's a brand new boat or whatever, you must have your life jackets. Oh. Are people taking on that tradition when your clients come? Yeah, Do they yeah. listen when you tell yeah. them how important it is? People are used to it now. Nobody okay. gets on the boat without having a life jacket. Okay, they fantastic. The Can I have a life jacket? Fantastic. Yes. That's great. Um, recently, there's been much talk about um, reducing traffic on our roads mm -hmm. and using the inland waterways. And we know that you, um, you'll be part and parcel of that kind of agenda. Has it been? Are people listening? Yeah. Um, the waterways is getting busy and busier than ever. And um, people got to know that it's safer on the waterways as well, and um, it saves you time. You know, for instance, a journey of three hours could just take you 45 minutes. Mm. So you are saving. Like, where to? Where are we talking about now? Uh, we're talking about from Ikorodu to Lagos, I mean, to Victoria Island. You mm. know what it takes when you leave Ikorodu in the morning around 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Or uh, you have to leave around four to get mm. out of the road, you know, because of the traffic. Traffic. But now people know that once you park your car and get onto the boat, in the next maximum of 45 minutes you are in victoria island 45 so, minutes from ikorodu maximum maximum wow. it, i mean there's a boat that can even make it up 30 minutes or 20 minutes it depends on the speed of the boat we're talking about but those are very expensive boats that will not be good for the business you know okay I mean? or okay. it could be too expensive for the commuters to okay pay. but do you have regular commuters as in people come and constantly yeah, mm. yeah i mean people are is it saying, affordable oh, is it yes. cheaper than the road transport Mm, no, I don't want to. You know that is not. It's okay, not. but it's affordable. It's affordable. It's affordable because the journey of uh, two hundred naira from Ikorodu to Lagos could cost you six hundred naira. But the time, the time saved. saved yeah. You get to your office, you are relaxed. You cannot plan for the day. Yeah, exactly. Unlike when you are losing concentration in traffic, yeah. by the time you get to work, you are all hyped up. You are bothered, yes. and it takes you time to get to the meeting matter, exactly. which is why you are in the workplace in the first place. Yes. Tell us about relaxation sports and parents. Yeah. Who is coming? Do we have Nigerians coming to relax? these days yeah I, I remember those days about uh, 10 eight years ago you actually found 95 or 90 percent of people on the beach are white people you know Europeans mm. and all that but these days you found a lot of Nigerians going to the beach which uh, I used to talk about domestic tourism mm. and all that but right now Nigerians are coming to the waterways the phobia of water is now I mean leaving them behind mm. and there are so many beaches people can go to these days. That Takwa Bay used to be the champion of the beaches before. Mm. Now there are Ilasha Beach, there is Ibeche, there is Agaja. Right from Lagos all the way to Badagri, you have beaches that people can go to. So And uh, they do go there. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean nearly every day now I got a phone call, so Mr. Tazam, we want to go here and there. Can you take us to any other beaches that we have not been to and all mm. that? You know? So yeah, tourism is, is taking a, a new dimension in, in, in the country, especially okay. domestic part of it. Oh, the tourism. Uh, yeah. I just got back from London for the World mm. Travel Market, mm. where the NTDC had a stand for Nigeria, Nigerian mm. stand. Was That's a rich, a Tumba Rishi way. Oh, Tumba Rishi way. He has been a wonderful person in mm. tourism. Yes. It was really nice. I mean, I'm proud to be a Nigerian at yeah. the Nigerian stand. Because of what you saw, okay. What, saw. what do we have on show over there? Well, uh, there's a lot of uh, tourists, uh, I mean, stakeholders, okay. like Tarzan boats, like uh, other tour operators mm. are there, and the government officials are around the place asking us what do we want. Okay. I mean, NTDC group comes with coffee with that mm -hmm. to make sure we're all at home. There was a Nigerian, a, a, an Afghan guy that came to play fella music. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it sounds just like fella. Mm. A lot of the people at the stand, at their different stands, came mm. down. Because of that performance. Nigeria, was he a Nigerian? Nigerian? 
I don't think so. Oh. I, it looks yeah, it looks like a Nigerian, but I don't but know. But he's not resident here. No, no, no. He lives in London. I, no, just talking with them. This uh, our, our our last guest from South Africa, Kagwelo yeah. Dube, okay. and she was saying that Fela is loved in the entire African continent. Not only African countries. In the world, in fact. There was a time I was in Belgium and you know I was dragging my traffic uh, my bike, my mm. traffic bike. The book I was reading in the plane before I got there was mm. a fella book. Mm. A lady followed me behind me until I got to the, I never knew she was coming behind me. Mm. She now said excuse me, can I see your book? Because she mm. saw fella. Mm. I'm telling you she pleaded that I should give her the book that she will bring it back to me. Wow. And this is Years ago, I'm talking about now. Wow. Talkers of now that the man is late. You know, Fela is an icon that... He uh, is. In terms I, of tourism. Yes. I was watching um, a program recently, and Bomali's granddaughter was saying, Fela is as revered, hmm. if not more so, hmm. than Bomali. That, yeah. that when they play his music, they have never opportunity to see a man come and perform live. Hmm. That when you're passing a place and they're playing his music, people stop to listen. Yes. And from that day, the person who played that music becomes a center of attraction. Yeah. That his words, his... Um, music his tapes they are revered yeah. if you have one it's um it's a very valuable property yes, yes. that's fantastic we know that um the minister of culture i know adam duke yes. also uh Otsumbari Shere, yeah. they are working assiduously to grow tourism yes. in fact many say that um tourism is the next big thing that we should diversify from oil yes. and be looking at other money spinners yes. and tourism is that thing that can take us there to grow our economy yeah. what else do you think we can do okay you know um my about uh, three weeks or four or almost a month i was in dubai for interferi conference you know they we were at the interferi conference after some segment of the of the, of the program that was a tour package you know that you know, we paid for actually before leaving we were in the bus and they took us round dubai and you know we paid some money for that. Mm. That is their own domestic tourism. Mm. You know what I mean? That people pay, we paid for. So in, in Nigeria, we have a lot to offer. Mm. Let's say Idori Hills, let's say Ikogosi, let's say in Jaws. There's a lot of places to to, to, to visit for tourists to see. And we can showcase, we can showcase. to tourists when they come. Our, our roads, our roads need to be upgraded. Our roads. Some of the rules are like death trap that you know mm. that you know, the government need to concentrate on that. Without good road, no tourists. We can't grow. We can't go. When I was in Thailand, I mean, I saw a lot of things which I know that those are those things can can be achieved here. Mm. A lot of things can be. Our uh, waterways, for instance, I was with the MD of uh, Las that's Lagos State Waterways Authority. You know, I'm the president of the boat operator, so mm. we have once in a while we have we meetings, meetings where you chat how do and we catch develop up. the water transport and all that. And I was meet on we understand that there are so many jetties the government has already planned to build. Mm. And like I said, some 10, 7, 12 years ago, you had to see boats commercially on the water, which is Tazan boat and mm. free boats. But these days there are so many boats because of the government position in about introducing water transportation mm. encouraging people to do it mm. and they are putting infrastructure and the okay. national in that was authority i was in um uh, onisha when they came to open the new port there mm. the president was there and saying that he's giving his words that the the stakeholders in the transport tour, i mean transport uh, business mm. will be given a lot of our facilities okay. and infrastructures um, when was that that's about two months or two, two months, months ago, ago. Yes. did he say when did he say what uh, medium the uh, funds will be passed? In such platform, you see, man, uh, God proposes. I mean, man, man proposes, God, God disposes. disposes. Okay. He is the president and. But word hasn't come about that since then. I mean, have you got word yeah, about yeah, that, that, that since? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The area manager of uh, mm. Niwa in Lagos, mm. we were mm. together sometimes ago, mm. telling me about the MD. Mm. You know, of Niwa was saying that he wants the association members to start getting ready to move people from Port Harcourt okay. to uh, Onisha through the Niger River, you know. Mm. Yes, that's interstate water transportation. Mm. Government is also, federal government is constructing a big boats that can carry a lot of people. Okay. One is almost ready, but they are doing about 10 or so that, you know, so start moving people instead of mm. our rules that, you know, so try to discongest the Let's road. now work on water. On water. But that's not saying that they shouldn't continue with road infrastructure or development. We, we they shouldn't slow that down. You know, there's something we call... We should marry them. Together. Park and ride. For instance, mm. from Tazan Jetty, you take mm. a boat and then drop in the Kurudu. There's a bus mm. waiting there. 
with routes different normal like in london when you mm. go to london you can go from the bus into the train from the train into the boat mm. you know, those kind of connectivities connections that can be done which there's nothing wrong with. i mean i'm sure it can be achieved in nigeria. nigeria all we need to do is to encourage the stakeholders what are their problems how do we help you i've been talking about first stations on the waterways mm. for quite some time you, yes say, you have been saying that yes for more than was, 10 years that, that was a time we were in nassau rock with the president of mm. uh, the former uh president baba mm. i mentioned it and instantly immediately he called the md of uh, nnpc that they should do these things they did some of them unfortunately none of them comes to Lagos. okay you know, of the water that's okay there. so they've put the field dumps on the there's waters in, in Calabar, some areas there's one in calabar which i saw there's one in worry in other places but we need in Lagos. Lagos, okay. you know they made the hope of uh, business all the act commercial activity, activity in africa for example but yeah. uh, okay that's a very fine idea but i'm also thinking we can also build on the existing tourism potential in terms of water you know we have these regattas Water. How can we marry that with what you already have to further make it exciting so that people, just by hearing, they want to latch on? Is it possible to marry the culture mm -hmm. with tourism it right is, down the water? It, yeah, it's just like um, when I talk about transport. Without mm. transport, there's no tourism. Mm. With transport, the tourism will be much, much uh, interesting because mm. people want to move from one end to another. That's why you need transport. Okay. Um, the water regatta, the government is putting some important stakeholders together mm. so that they can have an idea and then put it on the table and then dispense it um, in the next one. Because we have uh, been involved in about two or three water regatta mm. where, you know, these things are done. But, you know, every day you do things, you improve on it. Yes, you, you must it. grow it, you grow give it, it new idea, yeah. new verb, spice, yeah. uh, spice, so that... Um, people can come and enjoy something different and refreshing. Yeah. Because even we as Nigerians, our tastes so continues high. to grow, Very high. let alone those who are coming from from outside. Okay, perhaps I want to take phone calls now. Huh? We want the viewers to begin to call in. No problem. Perhaps they want to speak with uh, Tarzan. Let him tell them uh, um, the splendid plans that Nigeria has for Nigerians and our friends coming from outside to enjoy our tourism and the beauty of it uh, at home, not just in Lagos, but elsewhere. So the phone calls can begin to come in. Uh, perhaps the number will be put on the screen so our viewers can see it and then, and then call in. But I know I used to have such a beautiful time. I love to be on the water, even though I can't swim. I love to be on the water. I, I, I love the way activities, like it, it takes on a life of its own. Yes. But at one time, we used to have some greens. There was some, I can't remember the name it was called. Water Hyacinth. I did it, Water Hyacinth. Yes. Have we been able to do away with that? It was causing some obstruction uh, at the time. Yes, actually, this is the time, this is the period that it comes. It's coming in now. Mm. And it used to come all the way from been a republic mm. and what i think the government need to do is get in touch with the other government i mean the other country look mm. if you don't stop this thing you know we are going to stop it mm. because it keeps on giving problems you know the fishermen agricultural part of it as mm. well the fishermen there's no way you can throw your fishing net how you catch is the water ice yeah and then the boats also when they are moving on the water at the times you get into one of those huge water ice and your boat will not be able to go anymore mm. the engines has a lot of problems and all that so for that we need to stop this thing from where it's coming if the, the, mm. the owner let me call them the owner the so owner, it's not the problem doesn't come from no, here no, 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 it's, it's not. like the what the it thing moves, comes from moves, yes. one country to get, another you see once it moves from that country and enter our own country and pass through the girls go into the fresh water fresh water zone. okay we have um our friends are calling <laughs> hello tazan is here good morning hello mr Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling us on After Done. We're talking the growth of tourism in Nigeria. And we are all stakeholders as Nigerians. Okay, perhaps we've lost that call. I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll get in touch again. I was also thinking security. I know we had one or two cases where some funny things happened on the water. Are people secure? Can people move at, during the day and also at night? Mm, at night, uh, there's a restriction right now, and that is uh, national issues. That's mm. uh, when they went to bomb uh, NNPC Atlas Cove uh, tank. Mm.